an injection which instantly turns gay people straight. How do you respond to human rights groups calling for the drug to be criminalised? How can they say this? The devil wears a suit. I think I wasn't expecting him to actually take the injection, and once he did, it was so heartbreaking. I actually know the song Run Boy Run really well, it's on my playlist, and it never associated with a situation like this, but seeing it in that shot, watching those boys run, I was like, oh my god, this song was written for this situation. Very obviously, that really clicked, and even the second song that came second half was also very, very appropriate, and I really like the fact that they let the whole song run. All the way through, usually they use like 10 seconds or 15 seconds, but no, this time they use the entire song, which really helped because the lack of the dialogue and just the faces of the people and the actions of the people were brought more into focus with just the song in the background. The other thing I wanted to, I, I kind of saw in that was this, obviously the fact that we didn't realize the effect of the injection until right at the end, but even the fact that there is an injection and even the fact that people aren't given a choice about taking it. It really brings into question a lot of other things that are happening right now, which where people don't have choice and they think it's just normal that they have to take these jabs. I think it's a really nice um, commentary on how many things are we trying to control in this world? And when does it become normal that something that is used to be a choice is now mandatory? Yeah, there are some scary implications in a, 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 a piece that has some sci-fi elements to it like this. I, I came in halfway through, but I still was able to grasp the really horrible pathos of the limitations of this person's choices. Um, and the incredible pressure to conform is um, frightening. <laughs> and so I really uh, I felt a lot. I, I grasped the feeling of the despair. And I, I also just want to say I really liked the cinematography as well as the music. I thought it was gorgeously shot. One of the things I loved was that main character's face when he's talking to his new wife and she leaves. And his face transforms from a smile to this heartbreaking grimace. And then all of the, the deadpan stares afterward. And you're not sure if it's the shock of what he's done or the actual drug taking effect. And you don't know and you just have to assume it's a very emotional piece. So it's a strong film, it requires a tremendous suspension of disbelief in that such a drug could exist, in that something like that would be sold over the counter and you could just inject yourself with it, it wouldn't be administered. But there's a lot of little things like, kind of like things like that, like you watch The Handmaid's Tale in the same way, you have to say, okay, this happened. And even though the, the, the likelihood and the how of it doesn't make a lot of sense, you, you can put that aside and, and go with the tale that's being told to you. So, and in that way, it's a very powerful thing. Uh, the essence of drama is a character has a decision to make, and he has a decision to make here, and it, 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 this wasn't forced upon him. May, maybe it would have been if he hadn't done it on his own, but you, you see what I'm saying? He did make the decision on his own. It's controversial, because it's not... It's not a, it's a societal pressure and he didn't yeah. know the effects of it. It wasn't, yeah. you can't claim it's an informed choice, it's, but it is, it, it, was a, it was a choice and it was a horrific one to have to make. And we had a big cast in this, a really big cast. And I don't think I've ever seen a short film that had so many characters. And I wonder, did you look at the rabbi, did anybody think his beard looked fake? <laughs> it almost like his mustache was like I don't know if that was a real one or if it was a bad a bad barbering job or a, a bad fake beard. I don't know. There was something there that pulled me out of the film when I looked at him. Yeah, I noticed the, the fake beard too. Okay. I don't know if it was intentional or not. Maybe it's just to show that a lot of religious leaders are fake and they're spreading a lot of bullshit. So I mean that's why. Um, in my head, I've been trying to connect like why the song would have been trying to like connect with the film so well. So I think that like, you know, by saying the devil wears a suit, it's not necessarily like the devil being like some otherworldly being. It's just like wearing a suit where like, you know, you're in a group, you have a certain mask, you have a certain suit, and then you have the pressure to conform. And then like the devil sort of like, you know, the bit inside of you that's like, you know, maybe potentially forcing you to feel a certain way or act a certain way to be a part of a thing, whereas, you're not necessarily like expressing who it is that you actually are inside. 
Yeah, I think the, the song choice was very poignant because it does say quite a lot in the melody and the, the emotion behind the sentiment being like, he lives in your home, in your town, in your head, in your bed. The devil is right next door. Your mother and I have met your new shidduch, Lavana. She's perfect. Really? Beautiful. You are going to love her. So, I mean, the, the main storyline is a deeply personal one, but I think there's some interesting pieces sprinkled in that make you think about the, the implications to the community as a whole. You have the one tidbit where it's saying that these kids are taking this injection just electively as a precaution. And then when you find out it removes all desire and it shows the slow pan across the crowd and everyone's like grim set faces. Um, you're going to get an entire generation that's growing up without any desire, like a total loveless, closed religious society, and it's presumably going to be devastating for them, for the entire community, just because of the degree of control they've tried to exert on the children. Taken away love. I found that movie very, very powerful because it hit a lot of elements. First of all, homosexuality, which you should not be able to control or anyone should be involved that's human feelings okay and church religion should not enter and here they are they even showed some Arabs and so on that religion gets involved then you got the sacrifice of that poor young man who when he did the injection and took away he's going to leave his whole life without being who he truly is losing your whole essence your soul no, that movie was extremely, extremely powerful and extremely well done. It touched really, really strong stuff. How religion gets in, and then your sacrifice, and then what do you do? Can you imagine the confusion? Instead of just let it be, and then taking away, the whole thing is then taking away love. Can you imagine if we got rid of love? What are we left? We're robots. We have no inspiration. We have nothing. Just because of sexuality? You're going to just touch your sexuality aspect? Mm -hmm. It throws into focus something that uh, might already be an undercurrent in societies and places in the past where people have to live their life in secret. The beginning, the depiction of uh, the three scenarios, three different religions where people were being injected, um, the, the subtle variations between each really highlighted the absolute, like no choice was involved uh, in these scenarios. Um, that the, uh, in the Catholic situation, it was a woman alone in a church behind closed doors. For the Muslim man, he was in a public space. Again, they were attacked, and then the people who injected ran. They ran away after the fact, right? It was a shameful thing that they did. Um, and then in the case of the rabbi, it was ritualized. Um, it was, uh, you know, dancing, singing, and all of this uh, being depicted. Um, and uh, the boy was unconscious. Like he was his, he was outwardly uh, in his in the dream sense. He was expressing what was happening to him outside. That it was all part of the process. It's what you're supposed to do. Um, stacked against his whole life, there was no choice involved there uh, for a child.